Oh, long time no see everyone. I'm back. So I've been really busy and I just apologize. I haven't made any videos or anything like that. I've had loads of projects on the go. But none have been completed, so I haven't felt like I've uh, been able to publish a video yet. I've still got to do the medals video, but for some reason I'm procrastinating on that. So anyway, I'm back. Tomorrow we're having a, a little party at our house, a little one. A few friends are coming over to stay, and we have a game of bull, and we all get slightly drunk, and we all take it not seriously at all, but kind of quite seriously. We're all very competitive, sporty people. So I thought it'd be really fun, in a similar vein to my medals casting, what if I cast a kind of a trophy bronze bull? I did some research on bull, and there are regulation sizes and weights. Now I've done some maths, and if I want my trophy bull to be about 75 millimeters in diameter, it's going to weigh about one and a half kilos. So that's twice as heavy as a regulation bull. But it doesn't matter, it's only a trophy and I'll stamp the winner's initials into it each year for an official record of who's won and for bragging rights. So there's a problem with casting something so solid and large, and that's shrinkage. Basically, as the molten bronze cools, it will shrink, and this will cause stresses in the metal, and it will deform and pull the softer, slower cooling parts to fill the colder areas. And this is a problem if you want to end up with an accurate shape, like a sphere. I don't want to cast this thing, only to find one side of it has a large dent in it. So to stop this, I'll need a feeder, and this is the problem. For something this thick, the feeder should be huge, and that would normally be fine, except this feeder would be so big that I won't be able to fill it with my current crucible. However, I have just received my wonderful 2019 Openers Open prize from Olfandryman and Small CNC Lathes. Thank you so much, guys. That was very kind of you. And this prize is a much larger crucible. So that's awesome. But I still haven't modified my furnace to fit this thing, and I haven't made a new shank or lifting tool, so I can't use the new crucible yet. So that's not so awesome and doesn't help me right now. So what am I gonna do? Well, all I can do is make a feeder that is at the very limit of what I can do with my smaller A6 crucible, and hope it's enough. I've also been an idiot with the pattern for this bull. I've put some decorative grooves around it, but of course, this one groove around the equator is useless, and it's gonna fill with sand and then break off when I remove the pattern from the sand. What an umpty. Anyway, let's get on with it. I did try and 3D print the huge feeder, but my printer's nozzle got blocked halfway through. But it's too huge for me to use anyway, so I'll be winging it and carving one by hand. Quite a nice big size. Really want the lid to that. Okay, all right, well the little groove looks nice. So that I can make it the same. 
and this needs to be hollowed quite severely and also needs to be flatter in the vertical plane and wider in the horizontal plane. As you can see, this is a very big feeder. Hopefully it's big enough. Now I'm going to do the same on this side. Doesn't seem too bad. I think that looks pretty good. The groove has stayed. Great. Ooh. I don't know whether to do a vent or not. I don't think I'm going to do a vent. Uh, no, I'm not going to do a vent. So as you can see, the grooves have come out nicely. And that is a serious deep feeder. And likewise on this one, the grooves are nice. And that kind of tapers into that huge feeder there. I just hope I've got enough bronze. Well, I've got enough bronze, but I just hope the crucible, the little crucible will manage. Wow, you can actually see in it. There you go, you can see right in. It's huge. All right, let's do it. So five seconds worth of pump. There you go.
the brim. I try and fill it in there and then I've got enough room I'll put that on there and keep going we'll see it's very full oops Oh, my end gate froze. I don't know what happened there. I slowed down. I don't know. Whew. I don't know what happened there. My uh, metal looks like it wasn't fully melted. Weird. Uh. It's so hot here. I'm sweating so much. Uh, so from about here up in my workshop, it is 58 degrees. It is insanely hot in here, so I just want to get on with this. <laughs> I'm sweating so bad. I've got some water here. The bull, right, several things with the bull. The pour didn't go well. Somehow I got some crud right on the lip and it, it made it, uh, when I poured, go into two, two kind of streams, which meant I missed with one and didn't miss with the other, which meant I poured slowly, which meant it kind of froze within um, sort of 30 seconds of it, me starting, and I wasn't even this far up on my feeder yet. But luckily, because the feeder's this big, I could just chuck it all in there. Terrible um, technique, but we'll see. Hopefully, fingers crossed, According to Orfoundryman's maths, the feeder should have been much bigger. I'm glad I didn't make it any bigger because with my current crucible, it was as full as I could make it. Another problem, because I filled it right to the very top of the crucible, um, it looked like it was kind of bubbling, uh, you know, like it was hot enough. But actually, I think it was the wind stirring the top. It was only this much beneath the, um, the top of the crucible. And I'd only just put in, so five minutes before, a sort of a 400 gram chunk of bronze, cold bronze. And what I think happened is that sank to the bottom and hadn't quite melted when I poured, which meant this thing, which is quite a substantial chunk of bronze, just didn't, I mean, look at that. That's uh, like nearly three quarters of an inch thick there. That never melted. It was like sludge. So at the very bottom, it wasn't hot enough because of the because of the ingot I put in, which meant the whole thing wasn't hot enough. I don't know. It could be not very good. It'd be a shame because the party's tomorrow and it's an award for the couple that plays bulls the least worst. And uh, it'd be lovely to have a, a nice um, trophy. As per usual, you're going to see it before I do. Ooh, God, it's hot. I can feel the heat. 270. Well, the bottom looks okay. Let's see if we can uh, release it. That 
that is the largest feeder. Look at the size of it. <laughs> oh my God. Right, that water's now very hot. God, blimey. You have to go and get another bucket of water. That is still really hot. believe how heavy it is. That is ridiculous. All right, well it's well over five kilograms because it just went straight off the edge. Oh, my scale doesn't go higher than that. The groove seems okay. Oh, I just hope that we've, we haven't got any shrinkage here. We might, we might be all right, you never know. Look at the size of it. It's huge. Look how much it's shrunk. That is um, potentially a good sign. It has shrunken. Forty-seven millimeters down. That's pretty awesome in there. And I'm pleased. This is way bigger than the diameter of that. And also this is even more than the diameter of that. And my tapered in gate is pretty good. I think it could have been less high, but I've managed to miss the, the grooves there. The grooves on the top and the bottom seem okay. Fingers crossed, this might be all right. I mean, I might cut through there and there'd be a big air bubble. Um, we'll see. All right. Blimey. I love my mask, by the way. Brilliant. This thing is huge. I tried to make cut it as close, but I couldn't quite get to it with the angle grinder. So, right, let's see the weights, the weights involved here. Come on, let's do it accurately. One, six, one, seven. Five, three, six. This might be too much. Four, three, six, six. That's a big lump of bronze. That's the, that's my biggest pour. And probably my most unsuccessful pour. But by the look of it, it might be all right. Here's what it looks like up close. As you can see, it's pretty good. Um, obviously, this this <laughs> this bit here, I'm actually just going to sand that to a flat, and just have these um, two kind of circles, that one and that one running vertically there, and this horizontal one that's now a, um, a bulge rather than a groove. I'm going to see if I can sand that flat.